What is Moraira and Taulada all about? Let's find out! one of the best places in the world to live. The shock of things that you don't need, but that you want. <laughs> it's a luxury, it's, it's lovely. Take it easy, you know, you don't notice so much if people have a lot of money or not. It's not an issue here. Lots of water sports, scuba diving. Health is the most important thing for us. It's a peaceful and lovely society. Good to see, see you. you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Tola Mayra and welcome Thank to you. the town hall. Thank you. Carlos, could you please tell us what is Teulada Moraira? Okay, so Teula Moraira is a beautiful uh, municipality on the Costa Blanca north, halfway between uh, Valencia and Alicante, and uh, we have the particularly of having two different town centers. One is Teulada, uh, you have uh, the old town, the Gothic wall, decorated historic uh, ensemble, and then we have uh, Moraira is on the coastline, uh, we have all the beaches, uh, holiday lakes. It's almost half and a half national uh, uh, people and expats living in this municipality. How many nationalities have you got here? We have about 62 different nationalities. Okay, mm -hmm. that's impressive. Yeah. How many citizens do you have actually in the municipality? 11,000. Amanda, tell us a little bit about how did you get to uh, Moreira? I first came to Moreira about 25 years ago. There were quite a lot of people renting, but I think probably older people at that time, whereas Moreira has evolved, where there are now younger people here, I think. The clientele that I have is very varied. I mean, in, completely international, a great mix of people nationality-wise, but then also age-wise. The clothes that I sell, they are a fantastic seller, but they sell from a young age to an old age. Um, I often think that I should rename the shop the lovely shop uh -huh. because <laughs> I hear people outside going, oh, that's a lovely shop. <laughs> or they say to their friends, come on, let's go to the lovely shop. <laughs> but I think people like the mix here. You know, there's always something different. Mm -hmm. So it's um, often called also the shop of things that you don't need, but that you want. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> So we hope that they continue to want more. Great. And if a person was thinking to relocate and move down here, what would you advise them? It is a different culture, of course, and certainly the red tape that goes along with that culture can be quite challenging. Um, there's a lot of services here to help, though, an incredible amount in such a small space. So whether it's financial services or you know, um, estate agent services, you know, many, many different types, there's an abundance. And typically people here always do want to um, you know, give a good recommendation and say, oh, I know a good builder or I know a good shop where you can get lamps or mm -hmm. whatever. If you don't speak the language, there are a lot of people that do speak English or your language. Build up your network um, and enjoy it. You know, Mariah is a small village. Yeah, mostly dealing with British people and English speakers in general um, and a lot of tourists in the summer as well because it's a very busy tourist place, Mariah. And quite Spanish. And Spanish as well, but there's not so many Spanish in this area. Okay, and what is unique about your offer? We do three glasses for the price of one, so you buy one pair of glasses, you can have a second and third free, and you can also share with somebody else. So two people can have three pairs of glasses and you only pay for one of those pairs of glasses. Health is the most important thing for us, more than the offer is just the business side. We are taking care of the eyes of our customers. Wonderful. If a person would like to live or visit Moreira, what would you tell to them? Why here? This is the gem of Spain. I'm Spanish. I never heard of Moreira before. I moved here 
seven years ago and it's really a place to to live and love forever. The weather's good, the air quality is very good, we've got a lot of customers who come here with health problems in general who it's are told safe. to move here. It's, it's yeah, safe. it's safe. So and it's beautiful. Yeah. I have uh, more than 25 years of experience in the insurance business and uh, always specialized in experts. After some years I decided to go as an insurance agent. Uh, I made my broker degree. So I was thinking in, in being based in Moraira because of the large community of experts based in Moraira. As a foreigner, if I was moving to Moraira, what would you advise me? To take care in choosing a proper insurance, making sure that you are covered for any problem you could have. What else about Moraira? Moraira is a wonderful place to live. Lovely weather, it's always sunny, hardly raining. It's a peaceful and lovely society. What are the main attractions here in the area? We have here in Teulada the Gothic Wall Town in Moraira. We have the castle and also a watchtower. We have uh, up on the hill of the capital. And then we have all the beaches. So we have rock and sandy beaches. If I was a foreigner moving down here, why would I choose Moraira, Teulada? <laughs> I think it's a beautiful area. Uh, they have many, many things to do uh, with the cultural uh, festivities, events. Uh, and I think the climate is also one of the most important things here in Teulada, Moraira, as all in the Costa Blanca. I think it's one of the best places in the world to live. Do you have a department that helps foreigners to um, assimilate in here? Uh, we have two councillors that are one French and one girl is British and they have the responsibility of answer these questions to the expats, to the residents and to follow in any anything they would uh, need from the town hall or in our municipality. You are a very young man, how come <laughs> you are a mayor? <laughs> so uh, we are a young team, the aim uh, is to improve the place we live with all the community. At the moment we are entering in the Bay of uh, Moraira. This is uh, the famous uh, El Portet area. Well, you could say the most expensive area, especially the houses that you see here front line, around 10 million euros. And that is actually the, the highest price so far I've heard that we sold a house in Moraira. In the middle of the 90s I started to work here. Thinking back 20 years ago, how was it here? Well, uh, quieter than now. <laughs> if you look at the housing market, the quality was quite different. Uh, people bought, uh, you could say, a second house in Spain. And it were houses like 80, 90, 100 square meters was already quite big. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and obviously not, not at all with, uh, with the technology that we have today. Uh, most of the houses have nothing, only a chimney mm -hmm. to, to warm. So uh, that changed a lot. Uh, but to be fair, uh, prices also changed. Sure. Uh, in that period you could buy a house for 20,000 euros, which is impossible uh, at the moment. Uh, starting prices here for a reasonable house are between three and 400,000 euros then and, and upwards. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have more quality now, but of course prices are not the same with, with them. And how is, where is the future of Moraira? Well, I think the future of Moraya could be a future, um, well, maybe like the south of France, not overdeveloped Moraya. We will have houses of maximum two stories high. It will normally be detached houses here. So I think it will be competitive with the south of France. And of course, the climate is one of the best of Europe. Mm -hmm. And the south of France in the winter is a little bit cold. But if you see price-wise, you pay three or four times the price that you pay here. Yeah. And the life 
in my opinion, is better here. But it's not discovered by everybody yet. Moraira is getting more known at the moment. You see that it attracts people that uh, like a similar high-end lifestyle. It attracts people with a higher budget and that means that everything in town goes up. Better restaurants, uh, nice harbour and so on. It, it all fits together. We're not only an estate agent, we are a developer. The difference between Orange Villas and most of our, let's say, colleagues uh, is that we can show you our quality. We can show you the houses that we build, 20, 30 houses that I can show. And the difference is if you have pretty pictures, everybody can make pretty pictures. Nowadays with the technology, 3Ds are perfect. Exactly how the house is going to be. But it's not the same having a picture or have you done the job already. It's uh, one of the most clean towns that you will find in Spain. So it's safe, it's clean. It's a, a village that take it easy, you know, you don't notice so much if people have a lot of money or, or not. It's not an issue here. There are other places in Spain where seeing and showing off and everything is very important. Not here, it's, it's, it's um, quite a, a nice atmosphere here. So if people are attracted to, let's say, high-rise buildings and they want to have a Manhattan view, uh, then you should go to other places and then I would advise to go to Benidorm. But if you want to have uh, nice houses detached in a very nice uh, surrounding, then you come to Morayo. If you come to live here, uh, there are a few things that are important for people and especially when they have children are the international schools. We have, we have this beautiful harbour, there's still a lot available, you can bring your boat here, no problem at all. Certain kind of people like to come to Moraira and, uh, and it's more about having their own house with their own pool, a lot of privacy and, uh, and therefore no mass tourism here. Mm -hmm. Developing a house is creative, that's where our passion is and that's where, we, that's where I myself really enjoy doing my work. Tell us a little bit about the history of this place. I was here on holiday and the salon was available and the following day I purchased it. The salon we cater for everybody. We cater for all different nationalities and we specialise in colouring and we are up to date with all modern techniques. We also offer beauty services. We do acrylic nails and shellac manicures. So we cater for most things. I love Moraira. The people that are here, they're a good mix of different cultures and there's a very good camaraderie between the people that live here. Pepe La Salle was founded in 1935 by my great-grandfather. The business is still in the family. four supermarkets in total, two in Moraira, one in Benitache and another one in Benissa. We have many international products from Germany, Russia, Holland, England, France and many more. For example, uh, from Catalonia maybe, and you have here all the red wines from Catalonia. A big difference from Pepe La Sal is that we treat our clients like family. Savor the variety. 
it's an international menu, just uh, burgers, pizzas, sort of chilled food, but just everything. Spectacular. Yeah, I think it's a really good location. We're so lucky to have this place. There are lots of um, hidden beaches, for example, which are absolutely amazing and um, they're sort of hard to get to, but it's nice to enjoy with the family or with your partner. Lots of water sports, scuba diving, canoeing, and then there are also things like uh, jet skiing, which is really fun. I've done it lots of times with my friends. It's just a, a laugh. Patricia, Maxim, when did you get to Morada? We came here uh, in 2000 from Belgium. My children were uh, small children and they grew up here in Morera. The passion for cooking, where did it come from? It came uh, from my grandma because she was all the time cooking and was all the, all the time looking. It's unique about all the restaurants. We're working with fresh products, we have a good staff, we have the passion for, for this work and we want to give a good service and a good meal for the people. For us what's the most important is not the quantity but the quality. I am here for sunshine, like most of the people do. Uh, we used to come for holidays. Uh, when we saw Moraira, we thought it's a beautiful city. It's a small, but it's beautiful. Well kept, so many nice restaurants. I have got two passions. One is cooking, one is flying. Sometimes I take a plane, if I'm on my own, I go over the sea and just <laughs> do some playing with a plane, and that's lovely. Sometimes with friends, we go to Mallorca, Ibiza, all the cities nearby, have lunch and come back. How it's a luxury, it's, it's lovely. And it's, Spain is lovely for that because it's beautiful weather. We can fly around the coast, see beautiful views. If you want to relax, I can take you up. Please. Done. <laughs> What do you offer in your restaurant? What kind of food? <laughs> really, I offer what I like to eat. <laughs> so it's fusion, you know, we have food from all over the world. People tell me the main problem with our menu is they don't know what to have. I grew up in up to 15 years old, 16 years old in Iran. Okay. Which was in Persia, is Iran. And then uh, moved to UK. I opened my first restaurant when I was 22 years old. And then we moved to Spain uh, about 12 years ago. 
go to other cities nearby, then you make your decision. <laughs> I am sure you would choose more Alga. Stand by.